And the combine is done, and the NFL draft is coming up. So we're talking to as many prospects as we possibly can. We are joined by another one, an NFL draft prospect, a defensive tackle from Pittsburgh, a unanimous All-American, first team all acc year, 2022 ACC Defensive Player of the Year, and he ran lights out at the combine last week, a 4 6 7 40. Kansi is my guest, and he joins us via Zoom. Kalijah, what's going on? How are you? What's going on? How you doing, sir? Good. Doing well, sir. You got to stop calling me sir. You're making me feel older than I already am. <laughs> Don't make me feel like the old head that I am, Kalaja. Listen, before we get into your performance at the Combine, you had a great tweet yesterday. A great tweet that I want to read. And you said you can't stop a beast who is starving for a better life. Like, to me, it's a given. When you're hungry, you're going to fight. When you're starving, look the hell out. You mentioned a better life. What has your life been like to date, and what is driving you right now? Uh, my life, man. My life been going great, man. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of new things been showing up. Uh, just this process in general. Uh, a lot of, a lot of new things, um, and just, and just my family. That's that's who that's who motivates me. That's who I. That's who I do it for. So you know the process, right? You know how different the process can be, and you know how jacked up it can get. Like, there can be noise. I don't care who you are, right? There's always going to be somebody who's going to try and poke holes in your game or criticize you or anybody else or flat out, you know, they've got nothing better to do at hate. So my question is, are you looking to prove folks wrong or are you looking to prove those who are behind you right? Honestly, I'm looking to prove myself right. I'm never, I'm never looking to prove anyone wrong. Um, I kind of, I kind of don't want to get caught up in that. I'm um, trying to prove everyone wrong and then not being satisfied or happy with what I do. So I just try to prove myself right. I like that, dude. You're keeping it positive. That's good. I like that energy. You spent time with one of my favorite guys, somebody I have not talked to recently, but you have. You spent time with John Randall last week at the Combine. Man, I loved him. I loved him as a player. I loved having him on the show back in the day. What was it like chopping it up with a legend like that? And then how much did he help you? John Randall is a great guy, man. He, he gave me a lot of lot of hope, a lot of motivation. Uh, we talked We talked a lot of football. Oh, and also he just he just uh, he just supported he just supported all of these alignment gave us not a, a lot of knowledge just walked us through the process of how everything went went for him and I and I want to thank him for that uh, great 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 guy. You know, the combine itself is only a part of the process, right? It's part of the process of trying to put yourself in position to get drafted as highly as you possibly can, but it's a really important part of the process. So how pleased are you with the way you showed up in Indy? And then what was the entire experience like for you? The experience at the, at the combine was great. Um, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. I spent my birthday at the combine, man. I couldn't, it couldn't be any better. Uh, I had fun. I met a lot of great, great coaches, great people. And just to see the guys that you competed against and, and played with this is awesome. I think I think the combine was, was a great experience. Clash, it's like we see you guys show up and we see you guys perform and we see you guys run. But I don't think anybody sees like the unseen hours, like the work that goes in. Can you kind of give me a sense of what that's like when the season ends and then you go into combine mode? What's your process and preparation like? For instance, how long does it go on and what are your days like as you get ready to go? For me, honestly, uh, my, my process was a little different. I kind of had a, a setback with the the shoulder injury, but my, my main focus was just rehab. Um, I wanted to make sure that was the main priority, that I was even able to be cleared to run. So my main focus was just making sure my shoulder was 100% and making sure that I did everything in order to even show up at the combine to compete. But um, every every day is... It's just a day where you want to you want to get better and you want to stay consistent because like a lot of this training has to carry over to like the the drills and stuff like that. So you just want to stay consistent as possible just so that you can you can go out and showcase your, your skills. 
I think that process is so key, that process of consistency. Are there days, Kalaja, like where, man, I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to do it. I, I No, I don't want to do this again. And when those days pop up, how do you approach them? How do you get through them? How do you make sure you're at your best on days when maybe you feel your worst? When those days pop up, when those bad days pop up, you just got to think about, like, were you, when you was, like, 10 years ago, when you dreamed of being here, you got to just think about those moments. Now that you're here, you got to, you got to, you got to attack the day. And and that's something that I had to think about a lot, uh, just going through rehab and recovering and, and not being able to do everything and then show up and train and, and do, and do recovery and rehab. I just had to think about the the younger me when I was dreaming of being where I'm at now to keep me going. Dude, you have a good mindset. You have a good mindset. I can tell you've been working on this for a while. Rehab itself is, man, it's so hard. It's lonely. It's hard. It's painful. What's the toughest thing about rehab? The physical rehab or what it does to your head mentally? I think mentally, uh, just thinking about where you was before the, the injury and then like going through the, the rehab process and not being able to have that same amount of strength or range of motion or confidence. I think it's a mental thing. And, um, every day, like I just had to work on it. I, I had a, like a lot of support. My support system was very strong, uh, such as like my, my teammates at Pitt, my coaches, um, close friends, and, and also like the – the people that I work with here at at Sports Academy, I think we did a great job, just just working working every day, getting better, and it all it all paid off. All right, so let me ask you this: This is really key. So you're concerned about the rehab, you're putting your time into rehab, you're trying to get right so you can run, and then you get there and you run a four six seven forty. That was the fastest forty by a defensive tackle since '06. Did you have a target time in mind when you arrived? And then what was your reaction when you saw the official time, given everything you put into it? When I when I ran the forty, when I've been tra- like as far as I've been training the forty. Uh, I, I've been the lowest I hit was a four six, so I wasn't surprised. But also, like I was only I was only cleared for for three weeks before the combine, so I didn't have much time to focus on my forty. And um, I ended up I ended up running a, a four seven three on my second on my well my first forty. I ended up running a four seven eight, and the first thing I did was check my phone and. And got in contact with my with my speed coach to see what I need to work on and see what what I need to correct for the second run. And then the second run, I knew I had to keep my head down through ten the ten or fifteen yards. And I need to I needed to keep my knee drive a little high on the back end of the forty so that I could finish strong. And that's that's what I did. Clash, let me ask you this: When you were training, were you running full forties or were you running twenty splits? I was running a lot of 20s. I did like a week before the come out, I did a full 40. But like other than that, it was like a lot of 10 yard splits, 20, 20 yard splits. And then I'll go like the back end from 20 to 40. You know, one more thing about that 40 time it was faster than the 4 6 8 that Aaron Donald posted at the combine in 2014 i bring this up because obviously since aaron played his college ball at pittsburgh the comparisons are inevitable how much of you thinks that when folks are comparing you to the goat and he might be the goat right when people are comparing him or you to him are you thinking man that is awesome that's incredible or are you thinking that's nice that's flattering but i gotta be my own dude i want to be my own dude Yes, I'm, I'm. I'm definitely thinking like that. Um, that's 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 nice. It's an honor that to, to even like be up for a comparison with a guy like that. But um, honestly, I'm myself. I just want to be my my own self. Um, I appreciate the the comparisons with with the goat, which he is. But honestly, I just want to be myself, make a name for myself. Kalaja Kansi joining me for another moment or so. This is also a big Pat Narduzzi house. I love the guy. I'm curious, what has the coach meant to you personally? And then how much credit do you give to him for helping shape the player and the person you've become? Man, I want to give a special thanks to Coach Coach Patrick Narduzzi, man. He did a great job. He he does a great job with us at Pitt, man. He 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 teaches us to be tough, which you have to be to even play on his defense. 
Uh, he just builds character, and also like he just he you got to be able to take criticism from a from a from a coach, and and you got to be able to have tough skin because Coach Narduzzi is not gonna always be the nicest guy, but he's also gonna hold you accountable and push you, push you to be a great player and not just a good player. Do you always know the difference, like when he when you're in it, right, and you're feeling it, and he's not happy? Do you always know he's just doing it because he wants to coach me up and make me better, or does it sometimes feel personal because you're just human? Yes, I I know he he doesn't mean it from his heart. Uh, I know I know he he wants me to be better. He wants me to to be a better a better player, a better person. So I don't I don't take anything personal from him. I got you. All right. Defensive tackle for Pittsburgh, as I mentioned, a unanimous All-American, first team All-ACC year, 2022 ACC Defensive Player of the Year, and had a big performance at the Combine last week. Kalaja, really good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way, and I'll look for you once you get drafted. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you very much.